Hello, and welcome to another exciting episode of Cooking with Unity. I'm your host, Max Moreau. With me are Philip Wilson and Jeffrey Hawthorne. Hey, Phil. And uh, so today we're going to set up some actual, like, fire back enemies and set up a basic system or at least get started setting the system up. I'm sure that it's going to take more than an episode to get everything just right. But, um, but we'll get as much done as we can today. And maybe we'll surprise ourselves. So first off, oh, Unity's still opening. Well, that's great. Look at it go! So while that's going, um, so we took some pictures of ourselves to do some, uh, some, uh, <laughs> some very uh, uh, yeah. Area Fifty One yeah. style yeah. enemies here, yeah. and we have a we have a book that we're going to throw at you called "The Effects of Atomic Weapons," which is uh, public domain because it was no copyright. This is a, a, a U.S. government publication, and I've already cut out some of the characters very poorly, so they actually hey, look like they're that polygon. Guy. Um, and we haven't cut out the book yet, so I'm just going to go ahead and cut out the book while we're waiting on. Um, we haven't cut out all the all the characters yet. Either, oh, right? I was so, one of those while guys. We'll wait on Unity. We might as well do some were of this. Were you the book? Mm-hmm. Yes, this is the book. <laughs> was playing me, which was really weird. <laughs> so this is all we did to cut out the people. We just took the lasso tool and just just gouged them in horrible ways. Always cutting into the lines so we don't look like amateurs and I just copied it and then for safety's sake I just pasted back into the same thing and get rid of the bottom layer and let's save this as a PXM file we're gonna call this book and then let's start exporting these things because I think unity is still working screen? on stuff are we not, we're not are we okay <sighs> this time it was me that asked thank you now you gotta show all the pictures again all right. Well, we, we 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 took all these pictures <laughs> for some Area Fifty One style killings. Hey, that's me. Oh, it hurts the crotch. And we also have this book that we're gonna throw at us. And I cut out the people very poorly, and I just now cut out this book very poorly. But it was a lot easier because it's a rectangle, or and effectively now you're up so. To speed. Yep, you're up to speed now. Edgy. So, haha. <laughs> As in, we were marking edges. Uh, All right. That was amazing. So, is there a um, <laughs> trim canvas? Let's see if this works. Transparent pixels go. Yay, that works. So now you can so just. We're going to trim this and then we're going to save, export this as a PNG of some kind. But we don't want to make it perfectly rectangular. So that no. will hurt the back, the uh, other layer. So this will be book and actually how big is this uh oh computer wake called? up um so that layer is probably not going to be useful anymore no it's not but i'm keeping it just in case we can we can always bring the canvas size back out it's not going to lose the information and the layer i don't think oh really so like if i go like canvas size let's re reveal canvas that didn't do it um if I just do canvas size and bring it back out, like we just go to like 2,000 by 3,000 or something. No, it does trim it. Okay, that's stupid. It trims it? Oh, well, I'm keeping the other files too, so it doesn't matter. So turn off that layer. Yeah. And then... All right, so I want to make the size a certain size, though. Let's make the image size something that looks like a power of two or just kind of believably so let's see um width is let's do 1024 wide and then let's uh go okay and then the height will set up to the next um so we'll ch change the canvas size here and we'll make the height uh um 2048 <laughs> yeah four, eight. It's going to have a lot of white space, but that's okay. Not as much as it looks like. All right, so this will be a nice texture thing. So export, PNG. We'll call this book, export. And we're going to do the same thing. Ah, oh, might as well save the changes. Same thing to our Phil and Jeffrey ready images. So image, trim canvas. And then image size. So the width, let's do 512. 
Okay, and then image canvas size. We take this to 2048. The reason that we do image size when sizing down and canvas size when sizing up is it means that we don't want to stretch this thing. We just want to add the space to the top and bottom so it retains this ratio, but then it is a power of two and thus easier to work with and in any engine, including Unity. So um, let's export this to PNG next. Call it fill ready. And go ahead and save the document. Oh, and Unity's, Unity's ready now, but I'm going to continue doing these real quick, or at least get the ready versions. We'll, we'll do more as we need more. So, um, trim canvas, okay, image size, let's bring it down to 1024, uh, let's actually bring the height down to 2048 in this case. And then we do image, wait, canvas size, and change it to 1024. Um, export, PNG, next. Wait, where did these, where did the last one go? Where is this? I don't know. I'm going to find it now. What, There's a oh, book PNG and fill ready. Over yeah. There. Sweet. Well, let me just grab those real quick. Um, I think that was in the Cyber Dragon project for some reason. Ah. Um, GitHub. Assets. Textures. And there they are. So I'm going to put these back where they belong, which is inside of gun picks. All right. So Unity's ready. Yay. We've got some files done. Yay. Just going to save this. And we're going to throw this stuff into Unity real quick. Yay. There's book. There's book. All right, we're going to put this down here. We're going to create a uh, new folder called Textures. And we're going to grab Jeffrey Ready, Phil Ready, and Book. Phil Ready? Yeah, actually, let's call this uh, Sprites. We're going to make a Sprites. Not that it really matters, but... All right, so uh, we're going to import these as Sprites. So we're going to do Sprite 2D and UI. We're going to, um, yeah, we'll just do the max size 1024, so this, these might get sized down, that's fine. Uh, we want it to look kind of ghetto anyway. And pixels to units, what would be appropriate for our game? I would say that um, this is going to be a really high number compared to normal. So, how big are our... R. So, R. ER. 512 by 1024, hey, 256 by 1024. What do they look like all pixely? Um, how do they look all pixely? Well, let's let's get the pixels in there first. So, two point six by one thousand twenty-four. This is not going to be very pixely. Um, so, one thousand twenty-four is probably two units. So, let's set this to five twelve a unit. We're gonna do that on all three of these. Actually, revert. Let's just select all of them. Do five twelve. Because we're going to be putting these guys in a 3D world. And while they're not quite two meters tall, we'll, we'll make it work. We'll see how this actually looks. We may have to make the book considerably smaller, but we'll see. We can also scale it in the game as well. So let's go to our uh, fancy level. Is that where it's at? Fancy level? No. No, it's in uh, one of these things. It's not fancy level? You need set builder, that's where it is. Is it? Set builder, oh, Hong, Hong Kong. Kong, sample. Is this the one that we actually or was added it gameplay to? Two? So we hit play, is this a game? Yeah, it looks like this is a game. Just thinking about it. If we hit play, is this a game? <laughs> yep, looks like it's a game. It's a game. And we have things popping in, that's awesome. 
You know what this game is severely lacking? People shooting at us? Me. Yeah. <laughs> Aww. Whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, there we go. Yeah, we had a time based <laughs> event, remember? It's wild. There's a car. There's a car. All right. So let's uh, let's make one of these targets a person. Okay. So I like that. Uh, mm -hmm. Let's do the one that's where there's a distance, so it doesn't. We don't. Let's do the third target in. So I think it's after this one we turn right and look, and there's a guy like down. Oh wait, no, not this one. So this is node. We're at node four. So let's look at node four. Here's node four. It bears no resemblance to where we put the enemies. So this is our enemy. So we're going to replace this with, um, let's do a fill. Me? I'm here. So we just put fill ready in here. We're going to uh, make him visible. We're going to make this whole target visible real <coughs> quick. Excuse me. Or we're not. Oh, yeah, here we go. Turn this on. Where's Phil? I don't know. Where did you go, Phil? Where am I? You're like way over some weird place. Zero you out. There we go. You have to make one where Phil pops up right in front of the screen. You have to shoot him really fast. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, we should have made it NPCs of ourselves. We need, we're running like We that, need a melee guy. Not, oh, yeah, not hit not the guys? Hit yeah, yeah. Oh, that's a good idea. We could do that next uh, next one, right? I wanted to quote something from House of the Dead, but it's a little bit adult. Oh, no, I really want to so know what it is. Better. You should know what it is. You've played House of the Dead. Is it the War Meeting G? Over no, there? no. Though that's brilliant as well. Oh, so God, not, I know what it is. You know what it is now, don't you? Does it start with the word don't? Yes, it does. <laughs> that's exactly what it starts with. <laughs> Oh, I know what you're talking about. All right. Is so, it a female character that says it? Yes. <laughs> and it's not meant to be. That actually looks that, yeah, surprisingly that looks really good. Cool. Yeah, it does. <laughs> I, I think those are like widgets that are going in front of it. So let's see what. Let's see how how clean Phil looks when we. <laughs> <laughs> He's hiding there. No, I'm sideways. You can't see me. <laughs> Note four enemies is supposed to be off and turn on when you turn. Yeah, I know. There's Phil. Don't shoot me! Die, Phil! No! Eat slingshot. Oh. That's too far away. Ever... Yeah. Plus, we also don't have a collision box. It looks like. Well, let's my... let's let's make Phil into into a, something that works. So. Hey. Hey. Whatever. That's not how I meant it. You know it. <laughs> I do. So I give him a rigid body just in case we decide to move him around. And we're going to do a physics uh, box collider would probably be most appropriate. Let's your box make it a little bit smaller. No. So you're Later harder to hit. Point, okay. Later at some point we'll have to do bullet time occasionally when you when you shoot and it hits. Have Whoa. the camera follow the bullet <laughs> slow motion until it hits the target. That would be awesome. That way we can see close-ups of our silly... <laughs> Characters. Silly, silly characters. All right, so now Phil has a collider. Yay! And um, what Sorry. are we gonna do? So, did we already set up our our shots to be um, continuous? I think we did, but I just want to double check prefabs. If we go to our bullet, we have it set to continuous dynamic. Excellent. So. So how many pew pew pews is that? What do you mean, how many pew pew pews? How many pew pew pews is it continuously? Is it like pew 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 It means if it's going fast, it, if it it's going a fast, chance of colliding. Yeah, yeah, we have a better chance of it actually hitting something. So It's um, only been 15 minutes and already I'm in a game. It's crazy. All yeah, right. that is crazy. So, what are we going to do? We're going to need him to shoot eventually, so... C sharp script. Um, shoot after delay is what we're going to call it. I'm looking forward to seeing the animation of you changing from one image to another, one sprite to another. Oh. Yeah, we're probably not going to get to that on this episode, unfortunately. 
Well, we'll see what happens. Right? Yeah. We have a second second sprite of him, but I haven't cut him out for... Actually, wait, have I cut you out on that You one? cut out two sprites, the ready and shooting for both of us. That's right. I just didn't import you guys for some reason. Why didn't I? Uh, let's just do that real quick. Ready. All right, well, yeah, we we can do it. Let's do it. You didn't do the PNG stuff on him. Oh, I didn't? Well, that's stupid. You cut us out, but you didn't All right, fine, we'll do it real quick. <laughs> Trim canvas, I want to do it now. Image size, um, 512, or do we want to do 2048? Yeah, let's do that. Image, uh, what are we doing? Canvas size. Canvas size, bring this out to width 1024. And then, um, Export PNG and actually care about where it goes this time. Oh, well, so we let's cared go the first desktop time. Desktop and gun picks and there. Didn't care enough last time. Then one more. We're gonna do fill shoot. Hey, what now? I heard my name. Yes, you you you'll hear that on this episode at times that you do not have to respond. <laughs> What? I know it's crazy. <laughs> uh, no, I have to. I have to. Right, so. Yeah, let's definitely do two, zero, four, eight. And then, okay, and then image, canvas size, one, zero, two, four, one, zero, two, four. Save. I guess since we're doing it as a surprise, we technically didn't have to do the power of two because it'll automatically fit into a uh, whatever i'd be doing it anyway okay just in case you wanted to do it as a texture that makes sense to me fill shoot we're going to put this into gun picks it's already there yay quit pixel mater all right so now we can actually have him shoot um you hate me. so what are we doing we're going to pew 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 you were creating shoot after delay? Yes. So the shoot after delay. All right, what we're gonna do is public float delay, public sprite. Is it, yeah, I think sprite is what we want. Um, Shoot sprite. Yay. And actually we'll set it up as an animation. Okay. Um public float delay. Yeah, let's just start with that. So in start we're just gonna invoke shoot with the delay. And then we're going to just call this shoot. Now what we're going to want to do eventually is deal damage to player. This is going to be the case of just like muzzle flash and then you get hit. Uh, deal damage to player. We should add a muzzle flash to your finger. I'm That's thinking we will. Hoping. We will definitely do that. <laughs> That's the idea. I uh, thought. Deal damage to player and um, a little smoke particle effect. <laughs> do this Should later. be like a machine gun. Blah 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 blah. blah, blah. So let's um, <laughs> let's just do. Um, Misfire and you're like. <laughs> private. Oh, that should have been the case. <laughs> animator, animator, and then. Animator equals, wait, no. Animator equals get component. Um, let's do get component in children, just in case. And we're going to get the animator component. And then all we're going to do is animator dot uh, set um, bool. Shoot. And what 
else do we need to do? Do you have to pass true or false or on set bool? Um, I mean, is oh yeah, I do. Set bool true. And let's go ahead and avoid update. We'll continually set bool shoot to false. So we use it as like a trigger. Remember, this is our workaround because triggers sometimes are evil. Maybe they're not evil anymore. I need to double check. I th although I think we double checked again recently. Yeah, I'm fairly sure they're always evil, evil. Unfortunately. It's actually the wrong direction. Doesn't really matter. Because you're there either way. Wait, what's the right direction? This is the right direction. This is how you were photographed. Yeah, that's right, because I'm right handed. Now I look left handed. So do negative it bothers one on me. the scale. How's that? Yeah. Oh, why was it? Oh, I don't know why it was. Something from the target, I guess. Yeah, I'm okay with this. All right, cool. So we've got you. You're you're standing there. You're totally looking like you're part of the scene. Should we make it so it always the sprites always face the player? Well, no, not let's not do that just yet. We could do that. I was just picturing like because if like you circle around them, they never change. There's a point where we, you just come unconscious, and there's just like twelve of you around in like a circle, like all facing directly <laughs> at you. Yeah. I was just pick, I was just thinking about like taking zoom in on this pictures with like your feet moving like you're walking, and then having that with it oh. oriented to face right. the player, and having them like. Move walking to the or left or something. Let's just walk to the left <laughs> and right, but the, the motion will be forwards. <laughs> all right, this let's get is all Jeffrey right. throw, throw and Phil yeah. shoot in here. We're going to put all these back to 512. And, and yeah, the size is almost perfect. Like, I don't know, you're a little tall. but I'm like, really tall. I'm really tall. Look yeah. at that doorway. I'm a giant. Yeah, but I mean, like, that's all video games. Like, have you... Yeah, seriously... Homework tonight for anyone who plays video games out there. <laughs> Check the size of your character next to doors. It is hilarious. Yeah. Like, like just pick a game and check door sizes. <laughs> kill zone. Check your size next to other characters. You are very, very short in kill zone. Really? Shadowfall. Yep. That's cool. Incredibly short. I didn't know about that one. Mm -hmm. But yeah, no, I, and I'm not saying that all games have this problem. Like, like as a matter of fact, a very good example of good door size is the is that uh, PT game. The uh, the oh yeah, like PTs. good good door size there because it's an experience. But like like pick an action game like like Bayonetta. Definitely look at doors in Bayonetta. Yeah. Uh, look at any of the Siphon Filter series. Look at uh, look at Uncharted. Right. Uncharted sometimes has it right. Yeah, in the in the Nepal area, yeah. of Uncharted two, they got it really good. Yeah. God, that was a good part of that game. So uh, that was a so good game. giant Phil is going to shoot us. So what we're going to do is we're going to create an animation for this. Um, we're going to go uh, and create, uh, add a. It's like I'm in the game. Animator here, and I guess yeah, I guess we usually just cheat by using the animator. No, Is that really cheating. Or? It's not really cheating. It's just a little cheating. All right, just I'm just going to hit record so that we get a new animation. We're going to call this shoot. Actually, fill shoot. Hey, that's me. And we're going to put this into animation. Save. And that should have also generated automatically for us. Phil Ready. Oh, yeah, that's because your name was Phil Ready. So we're going to call this just Phil. Phil and me. What? No. Just Phil. Philistine. No. All right. Philanthropy. As in the <laughs> anti-Metal Gear organization? Yes. To fight all those Metal Gears owned by dot-coms? Yes. All right. Excellent. Fill the player with bullets. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> That's too good. That is really good. All right. So we're going to create a state. We're going to call it empty. We're going to call this um, um, uh, ready. I'm just going to call this ready. No, that's way too nope. many characters. It needs ready. to be. It needs to be an E that also happens to be red. No, then it would be a ready. <laughs> that's very, very square soft of you. <laughs> no, 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 that's not square soft. Oh, it was Sony. That of was you? Sony's okay. ad advertising campaign. You are not ready. All right. It looked like it said your note. And so this transition we're going to you remove here. 
we're going to add a transition based on a parameter that we won't have here. We're going to add a bool parameter. It's going to be called shoot. Is that what we called it? Yeah, that's what we called it. And so shoot true, we go to fill shoot, and then we're going to make a transition back to ready. And this one's just going to be at exit time, and we'll put it at like nine. And you know, transition duration. When Sprite Phil dies, confetti means. should shoot out and kids should cheer, just like the birthday party. For, <laughs> grunt Halo. birthday party? I love grunt, grunt birthday party. I think everyone should do that. It shouldn't just be exclusive for me. Or maybe it should. All right. So Hooray! Phil Shoot has an animation associated with it. We're going to actually make that animation do something. So we're going to look at the dope sheet, and we're going to just what? change... We're going to add fill ready in here. Yo, that sheet is really dope, son. And fill shoot. <laughs> Did you know that? That right. sheet is super dope, son. So let's shoot every five frames. So we're going to just alternate, and then we'll have you shoot a few times. So we'll just go, um, actually, let's see. No, I don't ever run out of ammo. What was the delay set to in the script that changes the bool? Um, the delay set to in the script that changes the bool. I didn't put a delay. Oh, yeah, we didn't set a default, but, um, this is, this Equals. is, yeah, thank you. Save. All right, so, uh, I'm just going to copy this frame, paste the frame. So I'm just going to go every five frames. Uh, that totally didn't paste. Why can't we just have a loop? Oh, we, yeah, that makes sense. We could play. potentially. But then I would, so, I would don't stop. Fire. Would never stop. It would be great. Actually, we want the fire to be. Stop. Can't stop. Won't stop. Also won't stop believing. I will hold on to that feely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. With street lights, people. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, and then dumb. one more shoot. <laughs> so where's this Phil shoot again? We're gonna throw him over here and put this at 20 seconds in. So if we look at this in the game, let's see how that actually looks. I'm gonna look at Phil here. Um, not in the game. And we're gonna we can hit make play. a new song called Phil Shot. Oh, that looks really weird. That's perfect. <laughs> that looks really weird. My face is jiggly too much. It looks like there's a different scale. Can we scale them differently? So they're like... The scale's right, it's just pictures you know, suck. It's just, blah, 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 blah. it's just you went back and pushed your gut, your hand forward. That's fine. I mean, your feet are almost in the same position. They're not perfect, but... I like it. So that'll be your shooting animation. Now let's actually give you a particle effect so that your gun actually feels more effective. Particle fill, particle fill. Alright, so we're going to look at the one with your eyebrow up. The bigger one is me shooting. Interesting. Not what I would have expected. Could I have the other one. Yeah, shooting? we could do that. Let's do that. Like where I'm like, oh, I'm sad. I'm shooting a gun. So should bigger fill be the main fill? Yeah. All right. Let's make big fill main fill. And let's change fill shoot to, um... <laughs> Shooting like this. Oops. That's not what I wanted. <laughs> <laughs> like, looked really sad. Shooting over my shoulder, like, while I'm trying to run away. <laughs> so we're going to use like fill shoot. Your legs or something. <laughs> Pew! Remember that, uh... Going to rename fill ready to... The mask? An airplane when... Oh, the airplane? When he's painting, he to fill. he's in the hospital and he's painting shoot. the guy who's like rescuing someone. He's got his like leg. Yeah, that would be amazing. <laughs> That's a great movie. By the way, if anyone <laughs> has like... not seen Airplane, do yourself a favor and watch it. And then it turns out he's actually painting that guy. Yeah. He's in the corner. He was. And he had his leg over his head. <laughs> We're just but seriously, these if games. anyone hasn't seen Airplane, watch Airplane, please. Other people have. Yes. I guess there's probably a lot of people. There's a lot of youngins out there. Yes, and you should see airplane. So is, is it really? Is it really meaningful these days? 
Yes, that movie's still good. Wouldn't you say the movie's still good? Yeah. yeah Airplane's fun, so fun This times. last one should be You've a got different Kareem Abdul Jabbar in it. Has Kareem Abdul Jabbar, Leslie Nielsen, Set of Bouncing Boobies? I don't know what you want. What more do you want? Yeah. Right, this last one's the wrong frame. Uh, we want. So, wait, we want. Phil Shoot here now that we've renamed everything. I've confused myself. Multiple jokes regarding drinking problems. Where he basically can't drink a glass of water because he can't get it to his mouth. One more fill at the end. <laughs> he had a drinking problem. <laughs> Actually, we don't need it to fill at the end. What? All right. Phil needs it. All right. So, so that's the animation. Let's also make it so that there is a particle thingy. So let's create a... Uh... Hooray! The joke about order ordering the fish has made it to a lot of other things, too. So yeah. people have probably seen that and not known what it was from. That's very true. That is not an appropriate particle. No, for me it's not. It. <laughs> no, it's not. Look, it's like, hooray, look at my particle. Looks like I'm All farting right, so particles. We're going to it looks like I'm, I'm, I'm emitting methane right now. You might want to keep that look <laughs> Stop it, Sprite Bill. It's not worse. Oh, God, it's even worse. It's gonna be. It's gonna get worse before it gets better. I hope it doesn't start coming out of my crotch. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And now we need to concentrate the beam a little bit. Let's just let's just do mesh. There we go. There we go. We're done now. <laughs> Why is it We're in done front here. of my sprite? All right, let's put it in. Let's put it up here. And let's uh, oh, let's make it additive. There's a draw order, yeah. Maybe. Yeah, well, let's <laughs> additive may fix that a little bit. Um, <laughs> right out of the cross. So we're gonna create a new um, material. We're gonna call this particle additive. Or did we already do this? What do we have for materials? Added particle. We already do. All right, delete that. We just put this <laughs> on our particle. Comment in the chat. People who haven't seen airplane, surely you can't be serious. <laughs> I am s serious. Stop calling me Shirley. <laughs> <laughs> I am serious. And stop calling me Shirley. Oh, wow, that is or, ugly. Don't call me Shirley. I think that's the line. It's so ugly. Hey, I'm sorry. I can't change my appearance. You know that? I yeah. can't. I can't do anything about it. I'm All sorry. Right, so what we're going to do is I'm we're going to do a trick. We're going to create another camera to render this in front of Phil. But we're going to first position it and get it ready first. So, so you're going to move it down a little bit? So we're going to make this... Yeah. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I'm we're going kidding. to make this fish... Uh, we're going to put this into hemisphere... No, cone. We're going to make the angle... Actually, no, we want the angle big, but we want the radius. We don't need the angle that big. It we'll needs to be 25. tiny, though. <laughs> and then we make the particles much shorter-lived... And then we make the um, we make the size much smaller, we make the start speed considerably lower. Um, we make the particles between red. No, I shoot red guns, red bullets. All right, I fine. shoot red bullets. Red. Or you uh, can make it blue if you really want to. And random right between two colors, we're going to do red, blue, yellow, blue. What? No, blue. it won't look good. Why not? Here, look. How do you know? See, it's all purpley. Oh, that's a good point. How do I? Because it's my finger gun. Okay, I like that. All that right. works. And then we increase the emission rate. That's what she said. And we. Uh, well, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I Looks couldn't like help it. Sorry. You're aiming a sparkler at it then. I am. Something. Whoa, what is that? Is it just going to be a burst emission too? Just like yeah, we're just going to do. Uh, gonna so instead of rate, let's just actually get rid of the rate and let's just make it burst. So we're going to do add a burst of 100 particles. A thousand particles. That's a lot of particles, but okay. I just don't know what it looks like. So let's I just hit see stop it. and simulate. Boom! <laughs> that looks so dumb. All right, a hundred particles. Yeah, actually, let's let's not. Um... It does look pretty dumb. Yeah, let's do one hundred. 
It still looks it's dumb. It still looks kind of dumb. It needs All right, random. so we need random speed, so let's make it random <laughs> <What>? constants. <laughs> No, include a particle system like that, but put it up at his mouth so it looks like he's blowing a bubble. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it does. It looks like a bubble gum. <laughs> then there's little bubble gum pieces all over my face. So, I've added a little bit of speed variation. Not enough, Zoom evidently. in. Zoom in on it. Zoom in. We're zooming all the way in. No, that's, that was out. Look, there's my hand. Yep. So if we hit stop and simulate, looks dumb. It still doesn't look quite. Oh, I did the start lot. size. That's, that's stupid of me. Um, it needs to be a random range between it, right? I don't well, even that's, care, that's care about the size. I wanted to change the speed is what I wanted to change. Oh, that would help. So we'll do zero and three, and then pause, simulate, simulate. Let's actually make it between zero and one. That probably looks better if it's zoomed out. It's All right, the... it'll be fine. Um, How can my gun? How's my gun sound? I actually would rather make this just a looping thing because this makes things a lot easier. Um, because we're just going to turn it on when you're firing and then turn it off. Okay. I don't know. But now it just looks like I have a sparkler. Yeah, but it's not going to look like that when we cut it cut it short and we'll see how it goes. I just we're just going to go with this for right now. Yeah, sure. All right. We'll try it. Shoot particle. You know what they say, what's the worst that's going to happen? We'd change it. Like that's the worst thing. Or, or actually, I guess that's not true. In the real, in the real world of game development, the worst thing that could happen is they could keep it. <laughs> so, whenever you're making programmer art, always make it bad enough that the artists feel obligated to change it. This is an important thing if you want the artists to do what they're supposed to be doing. So, because if it's good enough, good enough is the bane of the games industry. So, good enough. Good enough. Alright, so we're just going to do this. We're just going to have it... Um... We haven't even started on Jeffrey's stuff yet. I must pre it. But then you can say, well, I'm a programmer, but uh, some of my art has been featured in these games. Oh, there you go. <laughs> Alright, so what we're going to do now is in our animation, which is up here, we're going to add a shoot particle to this. Or rather, we're going to hit record, and then we're going to go to shoot particle, and we're going to turn it off. And this is actually going to be turning it on. And so we're going to turn it on, then turn it off, then turn it, uh, we'll just go to the next keyframe, then turn it on, then turn it off, then turn it on. And let's make one more frame. So that we actually end up on the right fill. Yeah, that's me. Where is it? So fill, we put you at the end again. Oh uh, no, where did that put you? I'm gonna undo that. That looked horrible. Alright, I'm just going to go into fill and just manually change it. So we're gonna get to 25 here and we're gonna put fill into fill shoot and it should show up there. Yay. And then we're gonna turn the particle off. So if we hit the animation here. Well, we can't see it because the particle system is not going to render if we're not holding it. Maybe this will work. Maybe okay. it's not. Yeah, this is probably. Fast enough. Let's try pre warming it and see if that fixes that. It also might not show up in this preview just because of the way we're doing it. Yeah, I think it'll show up in the game though. But let's find out. So we're going to put our um, shoot after delay on fill here. And we're going to make sure that node four enemies are disabled. And then if we hit play, Phil should appear when we get over there. And he should start shooting us after, I believe, did we say it to one second? Yeah. So it'll be real quick. So we can see it. But it looks like his particle system was already on. Yeah. Or do we make it 10 seconds? Because he definitely hasn't animated yet. 
thought you made it one. All right, let's look at what Phil. Shoot after delay. Yeah, it says one. I'm going to have the reset turn off for right now. Okay. Let's see if this works. And we're also going to make sure that shoot particle is actually off by default. So, pew, pew. Here you go. Hey, it's me. Where's my particles? You totally didn't. You totally didn't. Uh... Particle? Alright, let's go to your animator and look at this again. So it says shoot, true, do things. Is shoot actually being set to true. It should be. Let's see what happens if we hit play and we look at fill in the animator. So we're going to. I'm just going to break this off for a moment. And we're going to go into the game and shoot, shoot. It doesn't show Phil animating at all. He's not on. Oh, that's right. He's not enabled. Maybe. So we'll he see what happens when he enabled. enables. So here he's enabled. Ready. Shoots. Active. Wait, what? Am I not cooperating? Maybe it's because my transition duration is too short or something. Huh. Hmm. Well... That's... Why is this not working? Alright, well let's give him another animation just in case this fixes it. That's weird that it's not working as is, but let's just create a new clip. We're gonna call this uh, Phil Idle. Yeah, and this, uh, this animation is going to be just one frame and we're just going to add Phil's normal face. That's the face I usually wear. Or, uh, that totally didn't record for some reason, so we'll just do that. And then we might as well put the shoot particle, um, turn it on and then off again. There we go. So there we go, we have, uh, we have that. And now we're just going to use Phil idle here. Actually, I'm just going to delete this. We're going to... No, I like to be idle sometimes. Put fill idle. Oh, okay, I'm okay with this. Because it's already hooked to, up. I still need to be idle sometimes. I'm going to let you know. All right. Let's see what this does this time. So we're going to look at fill. <clears throat> That's me. Oh, poop, I popped out. What is the ready doing? Well, it's one frame now, so it's just really fast. And it still didn't still didn't transition. Not even once. No, it's trying to do something. What? You're killing me. What? What's wrong? What? Like, even this thing turns on. That's, that's great. That's great that it turns on. But why does it not actually animate? I don't know. Might be a good idea to abstract some of this and this to its own scene so you won't have to play through all this to check an animation. I guess it depends on how far you're planning to take the project. Yeah, we could do that. Alright, I'm gonna put in debug mode here and just see if there's anything that looks odd. It looks good. Huh. Try starting with him enabled. 
All right. Yeah, enable me. All right, so we're just going to enable Phil. What are we going to enable me to do? We're going to enable you to Sparkle. shoot while you're sitting over there. Nope, you still didn't animate. Phil I'm, shoot is I'm the animation we animated. expected, right? Like, this is, if we were to run Phil shoot right now. He said, I tend to make a scene for every major component for testing. It can be overkill, but it's hard to automate testing in games. And I, I would agree with that. Yeah, the next version of Unity might actually fix some of that. Um, hey, look, I was, I was doing something. Yeah, it works if I just hit play over here. Honestly, even looks right, a little bit. So, um, why are we not transitioning? This is lame. I'm going to create a new transition just in case. I'm just going to delete this. Maybe something's messed up with it for some reason. I'm just going to delete that. We're going to make a transition. We're going to go down here. We're going to make this transition. Call it um, um, shoot. And shoot is true, and then we want the, uh, why doesn't it show the text-based stuff all the time? I don't know. Because I swear it showed it here a moment ago, like a duration time or something, or? It did. Alright, well, I'm going to put it in debug because I know it shows it then. So we're just going to do, oh, condition mode is different this time. This might actually work. Um, transition duration, and let's see if this works now. Oh, it worked! What did, what so was somehow, when we set this up before, the condition mode was set wrong internally. It was still set to condition mode zero, which I assume is time-based. I don't know. Possible. But, um, but yeah, so now it works. Yay. Uh, that was weird, but, but yay. Okay, cool. So now let's see if it works if we disable you in the first place. No, oh, don't disable me. Feels so disabled. No, I I was disabled for for a months months when my arm was broken. I don't want to be disabled again. Say it ain't so. You'll be enabled shortly. Oh good. I All need right. to be enabled. I'm an enabler. Here we go. Blah 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 blah. Now he didn't actually stop shooting. Yeah, but at least we're on the right path, right? Because you turned it off in. The script, setting the boolean back to false. Yeah, but that, that shouldn't. Oh, that shouldn't matter though, because the, the only transition out is exit time. So, it should still oh. trans, it should immediately transition back out again. But let's actually do this. Let's make sure that this part works. I think it should. Make sure that the shooting actually starts again, and I'm just going to enable fill right at the start. Yay! I like to be enabled. That's true, by the way. You like to be enabled. Maybe it should be. No, nope, that didn't update. work. Let's try late update. Man, I don't like to be enabled late. No, it's for disabling you. I don't like to be disabled. Late? I don't ever want to be disabled. Ready, there we ready, go. Ready, it ready, worked. Ready. It even went back. Amazing. Oh, is it supposed to go back again? But it, We can make it repeat. Yeah, let's just yeah. do this. But what? What? Oh, it was. I guess it kept playing the animation because it was still true. So it immediately went back from the from ready. Yeah, that must have been what happened. There we go. Now let's make that time a little bit longer. Let's make the uh, delay. Let's make it three seconds. Do you mind being delayed? I'm okay with that. And we're gonna put uh, Gib on collide with this. No. <laughs> Gonna, I don't want to give. Yeah, we're going to just blow him up. No! We're going to do target give right on no, him. No, I need special gives. And we're just going to shoot you right off. Oh! oh, you just blew up immediately. <laughs> that was horrible. So what, what are the targets on? Uh, break target. No, give target is on layer default. Ooh, weird. Let's try it. I want to say it again because it just went right away. I want to see it like... I'm surprised that you died immediately, but... Is he colliding with the ground? Yeah, but I, I didn't... I, oh, yeah. I would think that these would be colliding with the ground, too. And yet these are working. So what's different? So let's look at... Um, Phil's different. The one enemy is give target. So give on collide, target give. Give on collision, give on trigger. Is kinematic. 
and default layer. That's just weird that these aren't blowing up. Oh, there's probably no collision on the ground. Is there collision on the sidewalk, though? What are you colliding with? Oh. No, there must be collision on the ground. They must have done that. Yeah, there's collision. Sidewalk? Yeah, like, that's Why colliding. would these guys not die immediately? I don't know. They don't have a trigger on them or something like that, do they? About their collider, is their collider like different in any way? So the collider is one step down. They're all still on default. In Phil's case, I make your collider a trigger. I no, did. That's the difference. No. Does that fix you? Yes. Can I kill you now? Yes. Oh, don't! Right, excellent. Don't kill me! I would prefer it against being killed. Well, you signed up for this shindig. How did I do that? You showed up, but... Wow, how has it been 30 minutes? It's so long. I know, it's almost been the whole episode. No, we don't even have Jeffrey in yet. I'm going to throw, throw Jeffrey in real quick. Okay. All right, cool. We killed Phil. All right. No, that's not cool. All right. I've been dying to do this. No, okay. So let's really quickly mock up um, a Jeffrey. So Jeffrey ready. Mock up a Jeffrey. Yes. We're just going to call you Jeffrey. We're going to create a similar shooting scenario. So let's just do... Um, Let's record something. We're going to call this uh, Jeffrey Shoot. We're going to put it in animation, save. And we're going to put Jeffrey out here. We're going to open up Jeffrey's little state machine thing. We're going to set it up in a similar, si similar way. We're going to call this ready. And I'm just going to put it so we can see it in this tiny window. And we're going to set this as the default. We're going to make a transition to Jeffrey Shoot. Jeffrey Shoot is going to be a little bit f simpler because he doesn't shoot several times. We're just going to have him that's Phil switch. Shoot. Oops, that's Phil switch shoot. Let's put. We don't want Jeffrey turning into Phil for obvious reasons. And no, I don't know what that statement's supposed to mean. I don't know what that statement's supposed to mean. And then we might as well make the idle one, too. So let's create a new clip called uh, Jeffrey Idle. Where did it put... Where is Phil Idle? There's Phil Idle. All right, so Jeffrey shoots. Uh, we go to Jeffrey... We do. Jeffrey Idle's just going to have his picture. So we're just going to change it to Jeffrey Ready. So I'm going to change it to Jeffrey Pro and then back to Jeffrey Ready. And then what I'm going to do is on the throw, I'm going to make it a few frames long. So we're just going to go back into our throw animation. And I'm just going to. Why is that at lower than zero? Copy, paste, let's make it 10 frames long. Because I like to preemptive strike. Yes. All right, so, yes. ready, we're going to change to be Jeffrey Idle. We're going to delete this. We're going to create our transition back. We're going to create our parameter, which is bool shoot. And then let's um, just do shoot true and exit time 0.9 is probably fine. I don't honestly, we probably should have it at 1.0, but it's okay. No, so let's see if this works. I'm just going to um, set Jeffrey up similarly. We're going to give him the. We're going to have him have a separate script soon, but for right now we're just going there. to shoot out for delay. Why is the play button red? Because we're recording. Oh, we're still recording. I'll turn that off. Uh, just in case we do anything stupid. And so Jeffrey, first of all, let's put him where he should be. 
and then let's uh, we don't need a shoot particle for him and where is wait why are you over here oh let's put him in the same position as Phil let's copy component paste component values well we need right. to have us offset a little bit well we're not I'm just this is just for testing for right now I'm just going to permanently disable Phil no Phil wants to be there it's Jeffrey's time to shine. <laughs> <laughs> Phil wants to be there. <laughs> ah! Ah! Excellent. I think the throw should be a little bit longer. All right, well, that's easy I to agree. fix. So let's go to Jeffrey's throw animation. How long do you think it should be? Half a second? Yeah. All right. And maybe the delay should be like two seconds instead. So that it's not alternating an equal. Yeah, I, of time. I'd agree as well. It's got to be, got to be nice. Wait, what was? What, were you, what did you say? Put it delay put the, time of two seconds yeah, in the animation is half a second. Okay. Oh wait, we just animated the delay time. Let's not do that. <laughs> two. All right, let's put both Phil and Jeffrey. Fine, we'll just Yay! put you together. And we're going to try this one more time. Pew, pew. pew. Going to have, definitely have to add sounds. <laughs> Remember that? <laughs> the tank laser, yes. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Where's oh Phil? I permanently disabled you, Where's Phil. Phil? Oh, I was waiting to see the animation. Me too. What happened once? I think it looked better. Well, we'll watch it again. An instant replay. Let's, Let's see, see that again. An instant replay. There we go. Oh my god, we're being attacked. It's horrible. Blah, blah, blah. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> blah, blah, blah. Ooh. I need to actually throw a book. Ooh. Yes, you do. But Ooh. we will save that for next time. But we've got a whole Ooh. minute and a half left. Ooh. Ooh. Oh. Woo! <laughs> blah, blah, blah. Blah, blah, blah. Oh, it happened a little later than I thought. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> oh. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> blah, blah, blah. Blah, blah, blah. Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> all right and we have a game this is, this is awesome all right so uh i was gonna keep recording for as long as people said blat 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 um blat, blat, blat. all right so thank you for joining us tonight hopefully you had a good time i know that we did um yeah. Uh, if you have any questions, please email me, pushypixels at pushypixels.com. You can also tweet me at Drakfire, that's D-R-A-K-F-Y-R-E. Uh, buy Phil's game, Robot Alone. Yeah, you should buy my game. Buy my game, Robot Alone, it's for the iPhone. Yeah, look at his hands. Or whatever, it's just crazy. But yeah, you can uh, buy my game, uh, and follow me on Twitter. That's at Magma Lemur, uh, M-A-G-M-A-L-E-M-U-R, Magma Lemur. If I didn't say that quick enough. And you know what you should do? More important than buying my game, more important than even following me on Twitter. I know, shocking as it is. You should really donate to Cooking with Unity. You get access to the Super Repo if you donate monthly to Cooking with Unity. Yes, so, yes, you get access to the CW uh, the Super Repo. Fabled Super Repo. And there's not a whole lot on there, but there will be more as time progresses. Super yes, it's very super. I don't know. Yes, thumbs up and everything. <laughs> so, thank you for joining us. You guys have a great night. I'll check. I'll check you guys out in the morning. I'll see you guys in the morning. I won't. See you later. Goodbye. <laughs>